I wasn't even trying to pick anybody up, but say I was. She always ruins it. And her name is Danielle. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just talking to somebody. I'm just like, hey, how are you? And then Danielle, she'll come up so serious without people knowing we know each other and go, just be careful. He's been touching people here. <laughs> Oh my God. Like he's been getting a little handsy. I just want to, I want to warn you as a woman to woman and then she'll walk away. And boy, does that cease the small talk. Objectively funny. Hilarious bit. Oh, she'll like, walk in and be like, you've had your hand over your drink the whole time, right? Because Zach's pretty swift and swipe with what he does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She false Bill Cosby's me. And I'm going to tell you something right now. What's that? Wait, I got to talk about something right now. Okay. This is a thought experiment. Hypothetical. This means nothing to anybody in the room. Okay. All right. Oh. But I do want your ears perked, old assistant there. Say you, Jared Bailey, had a friend, a girl. Not, okay. not a girlfriend, a friend that is a woman. All right. And I, okay, no, she <laughs> was going through a period in her life um, where she was being promiscuous. A lot of people say a hoe phase. I think that's demeaning to women, but a hoe phase. Well, I feel like guys can also go through. Okay, Jared, don't be a menomist right now, okay? A menomist? <laughs> I'm talking. <laughs> I'm talking about something important. Okay. Would you let me fill her needs? Fill it. So this is a friend of mine that is a girl. There's I have no way no, you need to walk this back. No, no, no. I'm just making sure I have no romantic attachment to her. Zero. And she's going through a little bit of a, a phase, a promiscuous phase. Yeah. The PF, as and, the scientists and call you it. you would like to... Uh, I, not, not that I would like to. Oh. She really needs to get felt up. I don't know the problem. By, by you. Not. Uh, I'm an option. <laughs> okay, you're an option. Um, would you let me... Let's stop beating around the bush and acting like we're vocabularious. Would you <laughs> let me hit? Oh, yeah. I'd let you smash. All right. I'd give you the green light for sure. Alyssa? <laughs> Is this Alyssa we're talking about? Is your mic not even plugged up? She doesn't even have a mic. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> oh, this thing's going down. Like... You didn't want to be what? You didn't want to be what? I don't have a mic. Why? <laughs> Why? That's literally part of the show. <laughs> um. Okay. Now over to Alyssa. So I'm the friend. No, Alyssa, your friend's going through this, and this was a whole thing towards you. But I was using Jared as a as a pawn in my conversation. Uh, I like the word no. muse. You won't this. you won't let me spank your friend sexually. No. That's a little selfish, See, don't the, you think? Don't you think? No. Why? Wait, she, why? You literally told me she she wants to get out there. She wants to feel a masculine touch, a testosterone tickle. Your <laughs> <laughs> and you won't let me your smush. friend has needs and you are depriving her of those needs. I feel like it's that be weird. I think makes you a bad friend. Why would it be weird? It would just be an uncomfortable situation. We're two homo sapiens getting heterosexual. Ooh. But then I, I feel would like know. feel like I was at slam poetry. You're not going to be there. I'm not selling tickets. Well, I would know every <laughs> detail if there was my friend. That's would, great. And I wouldn't want to know every detail. Well, what if you did this? Okay, your friend's like, I'm about to tell you every detail, and you go, I'm good. What if you threw out an I'm good out there? Yeah, that sounds like a pretty solid. I kind of want to know wait, every wait. detail. Oh, now oh! you want to know. Detail, you sick mother effer. You want to, yep, you want her to draw my penis from memory. That's disgusting. Yeah, and we're, you've just been canceled. That's the crazy. Um, can you hit thing. some intro music? I've got probably a lot to say. Okay. And wait, okay. <laughs> July 27th. You might be thinking, what am I doing with my life? I'm on the East Coast or not, and I have a lot of money burning a hole in my pocket. Guess what we're doing, Zach and Jared? Mostly Zach. We're doing a live podcast. We sold out the one in LA, so you already missed that one. But this show's going to be bigger, better, and badder on the East Coast. But like the good, good kind of bad, you know? Yeah, like a woman Jared's never been with, kind of bad. All right, that's disrespectful to you only so if you want to get tickets link in the description honestly if you're not there i will take pliers and take out one of your molars while you're sleeping and you'll wake up to agony nobody wants that also Ow. i'm supposed to say this we have a patreon we reached we recently just did a drunk episode where these two oh my gosh that was probably one of the most funny like the funniest episodes i've ever scene of uh, ours. Put, put in a little segment from it right here. I'm in couples therapy right now. <laughs> I, I like to think you guys came in blitzed <laughs> with medieval times. <laughs> He's the most fun.
one couple therapy I could ever think With of. medieval times hats on. Okay, guys, so um, how was this week? It was fucking awesome <laughs> until she called me short and fat. I didn't call you short and fat. Okay. We had you a great time at words. medieval times, but she was horned up over the green night. <laughs> you would be too. You were also horned up over the queen. Yeah, because she was hot and she wasn't a bitch. <laughs> remember? Remember our words mean something. Yeah, I fully <laughs> mean it. I understand, Mr. Bailey. Mrs. Alberti, does it hurt you when um, your husband says these things about Why you? Why does she have a different last name <laughs> than me? So um, did you guys come to the session drunk? No, we're sober. Sir, you have an open alcohol. How dare you? <laughs> we're going to do an exercise. Can you tell me three things you like about your wife? <laughs> I'm glad you guys can at least laugh together. Oh, yeah, that's one thing I like about her. She knows how to... You look like a psychopath. You're crying wearing medieval times. You have one shoe off, and you're drinking. So basically, if we get to 10,000 uh, patrons, which we're nowhere close, I'm going to do, do a drunk episode with you guys. Really? And you guys know I don't drink alcohol. So oh that's, uh, yeah. my God. And you're welcome. That's got to be the best incentive I've ever heard. I'm a yeah. giver. And you might be thinking, Zach, to make generational wealth just to drink alcohol once sounds like a little bit of a, you're pulling one, you're pulling the wool over our heads. And to that, I'll say, how'd you pick up on my manipulation? <laughs> you know? Anyway, Patreon down low, tickets to the show down low. Oh, we have, God, what are we promoting this whole podcast? I guess. We I, have merch. Do we, we have, have merch. We've almost sold out of, which is insane. Um, I think it's because the quality is a little bit better than... The quality is fantastic. My life. That's what everyone... <laughs> what? <laughs> and what are you laughing about? Sorry. Okay. I don't want to be this way. Jared brought this up. He said, women in this house... <laughs> <laughs> what? Speak when spoken to. <laughs> There's only one woman in this house. Well, well I, that should be a pretty easy rule to follow then. <laughs> I haven't seen what you're working with behind your zipper, so I don't know if you're a woman. Um, or identify as cover my bases. <laughs> Not well. What do you mean? <laughs> cover that. Okay. That was woke as hell. Uh huh. Hand me a bug light right now. <laughs> I'll shotgun it right now at a drag show. No, we have to get to ten thousand patrons for you to do that. Oh, Jared, we're not. We're done promoting. Oh, okay. I wrote Sorry. things down. I want to talk about. Oh, you did. Oh, the greatest day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> what was the what's the greatest day of your life let me set the scene Alyssa, pipe up your ears you're gonna want to hear this okay in all in all honesty <laughs> you're pretty much just living a dream of maybe three people on this earth of where you get to watch this podcast live every week and you take it for granted you didn't even okay anyway you've never even said thank you <laughs> oh she's she said thank you with her body not a sexual thing she's made me eggs okay also we gotta pipe that up a little bit i want more eggs you want more eggs? I want eggs and some kind of meat in the morning. Please. Thank you. <laughs> um, so this is what happened. So Jared and I were in San Diego, California. Family trip. Don't know why Jared's there, but he's been on the last... Your mom has said, I am more than part of the family. I would say the same thing if you were right in front of my face, if I was her. How many trips have you been on now? I think three now. Too many. Let's move on. <laughs> and so we're palling around. This is our last day in San Diego. A lot of people are saying... I've seen tears actually out of my family members' eyes. Oh, we've peaked as uh, on our trip. There won't be anything of interest to talk about or to revel about when you know we're mulling in our personal homes because we live separately. So we're walking. We're walking down the street. This is moments after we consume sushi. Oh, Alyssa, what? Oh, I just realized where this is going. Sorry. Um, I'm walking. I'm walking past a building um, that has good deals called a Goodwill, <laughs> and I look. I look through the window of the Goodwill, and I notice that the items in the front display look like a TJ Maxx. This is a well put together Goodwill. You know, this isn't a Target. You know, we're not. We're not going to go crazy here. This is a this is a rundown this, TJ Maxx. This is still a consignment store. Yeah, yeah. Don't use words like that. I'll fight the hell out of you. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm like I gather the family. Let's all let's all go in there. Why not? I get a couple pushbacks from people. Zach, we've walked so far, and I'm like I'm, I can smell treasure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Unlike Alyssa. Anyway, I can't say that joke. Um, I don't want. I I know where it's going, but I, I don't also know don't. Where it was going. You don't want to know where it's going, <laughs> guys. We walk in. 
we're perusing maybe five to ten minutes. Jared and I are making jokes about things. Oh, we, we pick up an old pan. Oh, this is a nice pan, we might say to each other. Oh, we found a shake weight. We did find a shake weight. That was the first time I've ever used a shake weight. Um, I feel like both of our minds went instantly to masturbation when we were using it. We shook the weight together, <laughs> <laughs> like very vigorously. I think you're going to bring that up. <laughs> we quadruple shook the weight. Yeah. Should we show them? Should we? Yeah. Okay, so this is kind of so, what we did. So, so we it was like a hand, yeah. hand, hand. <laughs> now imagine there's a shake weight in the middle. <laughs> and we're getting a workout. <laughs> we're working real hard. Okay. And, um, and then I find that Mickey Mouse uh, waffle turner into Mickey Mouse's face, I think is the proper term. I'm like, oh, Lisa would love this. I buy it for her. She doesn't even say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what? I forgot about it. It's still in the it. truck. Why didn't you give it to her? Because <laughs> uh, we didn't unload the truck. Okay. I'll unload in the back of your throat. <laughs> Don't worry. The audio can pick that up. Mics aren't good, that good yet. Okay. So we're prudes around the store. We're about to leave. And something tickles my ear almost like a whisper could have been god could have been any religious figure that is bigger than me as a deity and it says go to the back right corner and i look around i go i said what the jared what no we're in sight he's in the clothes section okay go to the back right corner okay this time i hear it again i i, I get on zoc doc to see if it's a um, schizophrenia no <laughs> this but is i'm really glad you ruled that out this is a prophecy it's not a very elegant prophecy. Like, Jared, go to the back right corner. <laughs> like, that just doesn't have a ring to it, you know? Okay. This was the best day of my life. Oh, sorry. And so I start walking. I'm walking. I, I'm a little scared. I'm like, okay, am I going to meet, you know, a small Victorian child who was able to whisper to me from afar? My, uh, um, Are you, know, you going to meet an interdimensional being that's talking to you like interstellar? Am I? Dot, dot, dot. Ellipses, as the kids say. So I'm in the back and, you know, I, I, I see golf clubs. I see, I see um, a tennis racket. Hold on. <laughs> a little stuffed up. Just took a nap with dust in my room. And <laughs> I notice a purple object that I, I immediately recognize as a high-priced item. And I go to it. I pick it up and I, I was like, no, there's no way. <laughs> is this? Is this what I think it is? <laughs> is this a Dyson Animal Plus vacuum? V8. Yeah, there are a lot of Vs, specifically seven plus one of them. And I was like, okay, there's no way this works. I mean, this is a, how, how much does this item usually cost? You know, highball to make the podcast better. On the market, it can go upwards of $400, okay. $500. I got DMs of 600 but we'll okay. say yours. Really ruin the story. Sorry. And I, I take it out. I'm like, no way this works. Hand on the trigger, like I'm uh, um, just... Don't say it. <laughs> All right. <Don't. laughs> and <laughs> this thing's sucking like a list on a weekend. <laughs> and I'm out there in the goodwill just absolutely doing the Lord's will. And I'm cleaning things that have never been cleaned up. Bop, bop. Oh, oh, is that a fingernail over there? Bing. Right oh, in my system. Is that oh, a dust a bunny right there? <laughs> I don't like... Why did you, you stop so abruptly? Huh? Why did you stop so abruptly? I just don't like when you include yourself in jovial acts. Oh. Jovial conversation. Sorry. I was uh, having joy. Uh, yeah. You siphoned it like, uh, well, I was like the trying, gas crisis. Uh, but I was trying to add to it. Why? <laughs> because I saw how excited you were. And you don't think I, I could carry a story about myself? You feel like you can jump in there anytime you want? Well, why don't I you just, take it from here then? <laughs> If you want to talk about it, I want you to from here. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I was just adding to your story because it was so enthralling that I was like, Well, it oh sounds like you got a little jealous of the best day of my life. So you're just like, how do I make this about me? Huh? I didn't. No, what are you talking about making it about you? I was talking about you <clears throat> sucking up dust bunnies. <clears throat> okay. Look at the price tag. $79.99. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. High price. How? Whoa. <laughs> Jared, tell me the price of a normal Dyson Air Vacuum Animal Plus V8. Well. I heard you got DMs that could go for six hundred dollars on the market, <laughs> and that's how that's how you join into a conversation, <laughs> and that's called growth. So I, I I immediately I'm grasping and I hold it. I take it to the front. People from the store are coming up to me. I heard things like "No way, no way." I people said, and I <laughs> and I I said, "Yeah, man." <clears throat> and then she asked me. Then she rung it up, and I walked out with it. You also got. You used your uh, UNLV. I also uh, lied. You did lie. 
<laughs> you got it for even cheaper. I saw I saw a uh, a display that had words on it that said, "If you're a student, you get ten percent off." And I have a card that looks like I'm a student, but it has no affiliation to a college I ever attended. And I use that as a big old fat liar, but I slid it with confidence. And the sweet lady, she didn't look at the price tag. She said, how much does that cost? She had so much faith in you. You could have said five bucks. I could have said, yeah, she wouldn't have taken that. She's a reasonable lady, but I could have said 40 easily. Mm -hmm. Walked out of there with a profit. Not really, still in a loss. Anyway, I bought the item, Alyssa. Are you listening? Yeah. Okay. What do you think of the story so far? I want to take a drink. Uh, do you guys hear how stuffed my nose is? Yeah. yeah, welcome to my life. All right. Alyssa, you tell me how the story's been going so far because I really want to hear this. I'm going to go blow my nose. Uh, I think it's going an eight out of ten. What could make it better? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it was a, it was a good story. It was, it was probably, about a vacuum. Yeah, it was probably the most uh, exhilarating story about finding a vacuum that you could ever tell. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, said? he said something about doing what he's working with you know do you need a tissue huh do you need a tissue now she says when do we <laughs> speak when. Well, you said you were gonna blow your nose no. and you didn't oh okay well speak when spoken to oh my gosh what i put my leg up oh right down the thigh full gooch what if you catch a left nut for no reason crime crime also demonetization you don't get paid you lose a job you're on the streets you're sucking Jared off for money. That's what needs to be avoided. Tell them what happened when you're walking home. So we're walking home, and this man has the vacuum. Uh, what's the word? Saddled up on his shoulder, right? And he's walking like a king. He, he's walking like King Arthur with, with Excalibur on his shoulder. And he's walking down. Heads are turning. You would have thought Elvis Presley was walking down the street. Or a guy with a decent vacuum. <laughs> you know, people, we walk immediately. We walk out of the store. Three, three gentlemen. Three gentlemen, most likely frat guys. They walk out, and he goes, whoa, no way. Dude, sick find. <laughs> and that, with that exact cadence, too. I don't know what heroin feels like. Decently similar. It's a synonym of how I was feeling. On top of the world. I was walking home. A lot of people made comments about the vacuum. A lot of them were young, beautiful ladies of age. Well, like consistent, like really of age, like not fresh 18, like 20s. Jeez, listen, hounded me over here. <laughs> um, and they were, they were looking at the vacuum. Well, why? And then I'll be like, yeah, goodwill. And they'll be like, go off. They, they're, a lot of people are using this term right now. They're like, go off, Kang. You know when people think they're original? <laughs> they're like, go off, Kang. And I'm like, thank you. And then you, when you're on your walk home with a, with a vacuum that you found at a goodwill and you hear about 30 go off Kings. Oh, I thought I ruled at least a mile radius of where I, where we were, yeah. Because I thought I was a king, um, but yeah, that I mean that packages up the story and chips it pretty well. Good that was day. a good story about a vacuum. Thank you, man. I felt like a student who <laughs> their essays do pretty <laughs> soon, and I got to get the words out. You got to get to five. I really could words. just say, like in a normal podcast, that's where people get it wrong. You can elaborate anything. Oh yeah, a more normal podcast like Alyssa used to have a podcast. She'd probably be like, "Oh, I went to Goodwill. I found a really good priced Dyson vacuum," and then the person would be like, "Oh my gosh, it's great." Story over. How much time did we just eat it up? <laughs> Twenty minutes. Exactly. No way. <laughs> and we're living. Anyway, we went to San Diego. We also went to VidCon. Do we talk about that? Do people care? Do we talk about it or did we talk about it? Do we? I honestly don't know if anything that crazy happened at VidCon. I ripped my jeans. So did I. When? <laughs> <laughs> I ripped it when we went to uh, Sophie's Warehouse. Who? Dossie. Sophie Dossie. Um, oh, we had fun without you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, you guys keep me up too late. Oh, well, I'm, she does. I like to go to bed early. When we're on vacation. It's I'm, hard to say no to a, a small woman who shoot, shoots bows and arrows with her feet. Yeah. It's also hard to say no to a trampoline in a foam pit. Or a tramp in general. Like Lady in the Tramp? Like Alyssa's friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she wasn't happy about that one. No, she's still I'm sad not. that she didn't get to go in the foam pit. Oh, I'm sorry. You can go some other time. I think we're decent friends with her now. Do you think that solidified her friendship with... um? Old Bendy. I think it definitely helped. Okay. Let me set the scene for you. We're jumping on a trampoline. <laughs> Here we and go. Here's I ripped, 20 minutes. I ripped. I'm going to brush past it because that's what you said you want to do. I ripped a knee 
in my jean. I ripped a jean. The <laughs> knee part of my jeans ripped. Oh, wait. Oh. I didn't I didn't rip my pants there. I ripped my pants when we went to her like meet and greet and we were like acting like fans and I took a photo with her trying to do the splits. That's when I ripped my pants. Were you scared that things would it well fall it out? was it was right here. Wait, in, right where? Right in the right in the gooch. Alyssa, look. All right. Alyssa, no, look at him. Right, right there. there. Right there. It was a pretty decent sized hole. You could see my boxers. What do you think about that? There's a dog in his pants. pants. A breed that's usually very active. Right there. His boxers, huh? <laughs> <laughs> she thinks she's all that with her blonde hair. She doesn't even talk on the podcast anymore. Oh, I know. What'd I no, say? No, because you said speak when spoken. <laughs> <laughs> I would never say that. Now, a demon might have possessed. That's wild that you can just say that. Say what? I bet that works in the church. What, just speak when spoken to? No, no, no. Oh, no. like a demon possessed you? Oh, yeah, you can say anything and then come back to the congregation the next week and be like, sorry, y'all, a demon possessed me. Well, I feel like... And then you cast it out. You just like do a fake seizure and you're good to go. So we get back from San Diego and... We're not going to tell any San Diego stories? What, did, what happened there that was of interest? I don't know. Well, <laughs> the vacuum thing was a pretty big highlight. I know, but we, <laughs> we can talk about your family. We were at a restaurant... And his grandpa orders, like we went to a wing place. His grandpa orders a burger and it came with like lettuce, tomatoes, onions. Buffalo wing, please. He wanted no lettuce on there. And the burger came out. He also didn't order a side with it. And the burger came out and it had lettuce. so mad. It had lettuce on it and it had tater tots on the side. And you would have thought <laughs> that they like killed someone in his family the way he was about you would to have thought he burn. was in japan in hiroshima part two was heading their way <laughs> <laughs> he was ticked <laughs> so yeah he, he tells him um hey i just don't want lettuce on my burger he says it in a little bit of a more angry way i don't know why he's so mad at restaurants and they bring the burger they set it down it has lettuce on it. he goes who the hell put it in a burger <laughs> and then and then he's like get your get somebody get and then and then we're just like that's not yours the that is my uncle Ryan's burger and it was, God, I don't understand the lack of patience at restaurants. I feel like maybe back in the day, it was nice to be rude to, to waiters and waitresses because was it ever I like, no, I'm just trying to give like the benefit of the doubt. A, there's the only time you can do that is my grandpa you're... does think he's the only person in the restaurant. I've been using this next sponsor for quite some time, even before they sponsored us rocket money, not many services, pretty much give you money the way Rocket Money does. You sign up, you pay them a little something, but you get your money back. You want to know why? How many subscriptions in your life have you just forgotten about? Probably too many. Quite a few. Well, it itemizes it for you. And it's like, yeah, you're probably not really using this. Why don't you unsubscribe? You unsubscribe and you get your money back. Also, another service is a lot of times when we're subscribed to something, who, whoever it might be, Netflix might up the prices. It's like, I don't want to pay that price. And then I didn't even know they upped the price. They keep that on track for you so you know if you're paying more. It saves you money. It makes your life better because you can spend money on what, Jared? Memories. Not these subscriptions when you got 46, eight of them. Can you believe in something bigger than yourself like rocket money, Jared? Four. Oh, is it funny, huh? That I'm passionate about something? That I'm going to the moon on a rocket? And what is that funded by? Money, rocket money. I've saved all my subscription money to fund a rocket to the moon. Just in case you couldn't tell by Zach's passion, Rocket, Rocket Money, Money is, is a personal, personal finance app that, that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Stop throwing your money away, cancel unwanted subscriptions, and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash dropouts. That's rocketmoney.com slash dropouts. Rocketmoney.com slash dropouts. Go get your money back. I don't know if they're paying us for a jingle, but they should. I'm sending an invoice. <laughs> Honestly, Rocket Money, it, I was genuinely using it before we got this sponsored. It's sick. Use it. Thank you, Rocket Money. Our next sponsor is BetterHelp, and this might be the best thing I've ever done in my entire life. Uh, as a lot of you know, I've struggled a little bit with my mental health, as has Jared, and we have found that therapy is the best way to combat that. Um, I like to use this analogy. We go to the gym for our bodies and work out, but there's a stigma about working on our brain and becoming the best mentally stable person we 
can. Um, I was scared of it for a while until I found a way to have it more accessible to me. It's a lot less scary when you do it on your computer and BetterHelp offers that. They uh, pair you with a licensed therapist that's perfect for you. So you can speak about your issues or your day or really anything you want to talk about so you can get in the best mental state possible. And when I say it has changed my life for the better, I mean 10x. I cannot recommend a product more than BetterHelp. It I mean, it, it changes. I, I've said it changes lives, but there's no other way to describe it. It's the exact same thing you need. You're supposed to take care of your body, but also more importantly, take care of your mind. Whether you're dealing with decisions about your career or life in general, uh, relationships, relationships is a really big one. Breakups. Trust me, you want to talk to somebody after that. And <laughs> sure do. sometimes someone who was in uh, medically staffed for their mind of information. I don't know what that means. I was trying to say it's better to ask a professional than your friend sometimes because sometimes friends will either sugarcoat things or not know the right answers. It's better to have someone who is medically trained for the brain to give you the right answers, right? And talking to a therapist does just that. They help you stay connected and grounded to what you really want while you're navigating this maze we call life. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give better help a try. It honestly can just move mountains for you. Let therapy be your map with better help. Visit betterhelp.com slash dropouts today and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash dropouts. Betterhelp.com slash dropouts for 10% off your first month. Use it and cruise it. Thank you, BetterHelp. Did you know that over 30 million people have signed up for our next sponsor? Private Internet Access. It's a VPN. It protects you and your internet and just keeps you nice and safe and warm. So essentially, when you want to get on the internet, it changes your IP address to another place so people can't track where you are. But the use that I usually use it for is sports and or if I want to watch a TV show that's... Um, not shown in my region. It's like, oh, I can only watch Love Island UK if I'm in the UK. Bing, bing, bop, change my VPN. The world thinks my computer is actually in the UK and then I can watch any show I want. And then when the Lakers are playing, a lot of times they'll black out the station. And so I'll like, I'll go to Ohio and pretend like my computer's in Ohio to watch the game. It's the best thing you could ever do for your computer because it keeps your internet safe. Say you're using public Wi-Fi at, uh, I don't know, the airport. Do you know how many hackers can get in, steal all your data, and since Wi-Fi is so fast now, strip all your data, send it to everyone, say you have some dirty stuff on there too. They can get that to people who can blackmail you. you got to keep your internet safe, and if you want to watch cool shows or outside your region or just use it to safeguard, I'm telling you, private internet access, the VPN is the way to go. Over 30 million people are using it, so why wouldn't you, Jared, huh? I am using it. Oh, then why the hell am I talking so much? I don't know. Is there a way that these people can get, I don't know, like a discount if they if they use like a code or something? Is there anything of that nature? There sure is, Zach. If you want to enjoy all the benefits of private internet access, now's the time to subscribe. Head, Head to, to PIAVPN.com slash dropouts and get 83% discount? Seriously? 83%? 83%. Wow. Okay. That's... Good. Uh, but you must go to PIAVPN.com slash dropouts for a truly private digital life exclamation point. Signing up for private internet access is risk-free. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee and 24-7 customer service available. And you can use one private internet access account to protect an unlimited amount of devices at the same time. I personally have 12 devices. Normally, that would cost a lot of money. Not with private internet access. Not with them. The VPN, huh? Right. Let's use code dropouts at PIAVPN.com. Use code dropouts for 83% off. Are you kidding me? Thank you, private internet access. <sighs> anyway, um, so this is the one time a year. San Diego is kind of the one time a year I get to hang out with my family and um, I get to see them, have conversations, memories, and things like that. And uh, it got cut a little short. Um, that's okay. Things like that happen. I kind of want to talk about why it was cut short and uh, who's, I don't want to say fault, but who's, uh, who's a big part of it being cut short. And that would be the guy sitting to my right. Jared. Hell no. You can't put that I'm on I'm actually going to speak my truth. If that's okay. And then I'm going to give you your time to speak. Let's hear this. I, cause I, I can fucking clap back. All right. Go off King. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Peasant. It's the last day. My mom just wants to play uh, board games with me. And Jared hears about uh, this party going on in L.A. And the girl that he is interested in is going to be there. And he doesn't give me a chance to uh, form more memories with my mom, who has a, an illness. 
Um, just, just fu- okay. First of all, she doesn't have an illness, and that we know about. <laughs> I got freaking receipts for this story. Okay, continue. So we leave a little early, and we head uh, we head to this party, and I'm just thinking about my family the whole time. God, I wish I could just form another memory with them. I wish I could have something to look back on when I'm, you know, on my deathbed to be like, hey, that was a good day with with them. That was a good memory. Don't fucking fake cry right now. I'm not. Oh, my God. (laughs) This is. You can't treat me this way. (laughs) Okay. Well, this whole story is a crock of shit. Okay. And you're making me look like the bad guy when this was all your idea. Again, I'm just speaking who I am. You're directly. Who you are is wrong. And that's what I can't deal with anymore. (laughs) So we get to the party. I'm I'm thinking, okay, the least Jared can do the least Jared can do is maybe hang out with me with, with this girl. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be his shadow. I'm not gonna be following him everywhere, but maybe include me in the conversation right when I get there. Bow, 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 he gets he leaves. He's, this is all wrong. He's, this he's, is all like he's the flirting. He's flirting. He's I doing the what's the grade school game on a playground? He's doing kissy face without the running. You know what I mean? I don't know. What you, I've never heard of. You never game. played Kissy Face. Mm-mm. I thought you were talking about like hopscotch at first. You never played Kissy Face, Mm-mm. where like someone, like a girl, would be like, "I'm gonna kiss you," and then they run and like try to find like kiss you, and then you run away because cooties are Mm-mm. terrible at that age. Never, no, never heard of that. Okay, comment below if you've heard of Kissy Face. You might have called it something different. Maybe like running kiss. Is that? I mean, you just described the game, and I still. I have never heard of anything like that. So, yeah, he's talking to there. So I'm like, okay, Zach, be independent. I'm walking around um, speaking to women and, you know, just being friendly and, and things like that. And then I have another friend who enjoys throwing me under the bus around women. Um, I wasn't even trying to pick anybody up, but say I was. She always ruins it. And her name is Danielle. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just talking to somebody. I'm just like, hey, how are you? Blah, blah, blah. And then Danielle, she'll come up so serious without people knowing we know each other and go, just be careful. He's been touching people here. <laughs> oh, my God. Like he's been getting a little handsy. I just want to I want to warn you as a woman to woman. And then she'll walk away. And boy, does that cease the small talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like from the moment those words leave her mouth to the girl turns around and walks away. Objectively funny. Oh, the bit. Yeah. Yeah, no. Hilarious bit. Oh, she'll like, walk in and be like, you've had your hand over your drink the whole time, right? Because Zach's pretty swift and swipe with what he does. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, she falls Bill Cosby's me. <laughs> oh, that rascal. But like, what's the what's the timer? Like, what's the countdown till that girl walks away from you? Like, is it, are we talking like sub five seconds or does she stick Why around? would you bring up a sub? What are you talking about? After five deaths? What? Hmm? hmm? Fuck. You think you're funny? No. I do you think you're funny? You're the one that made that connection. Sorry that my synapse in my brain are firing on all cylinders right now. Sorry that I'm so exhilarated in conversation that I'm uh, I'm able to go from point A to point B to even point Q cuz I um got off track at lightning speeds. Maybe my brain just moves a little faster, huh? Cheers. <laughs> you definitely just dented the mic. <laughs> Don't care. I pay for this mic. First of all, I want to clear some things up in this story. It was your idea to go to her party. Okay, this is our friend Jess. It was her birthday yesterday. I texted her because we were planning on leaving Saturday morning, which is today. Okay. All right. Around, I don't know what time. Probably 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Sure. I texted her uh, Friday night, Friday afternoon, and I said, hey, so sorry. We're not going to be able to make it to your party, but... I hope you have a great time. Happy birthday. I can show the text. I can show the text to prove that I said this because we were planning on leaving the next night, the next morning so that we could play games with your family. But then Zachary comes to me and he says, my formal name. Why would you give him my government name? (laughs) They know your government name already. It's not a secret. Okay. Keep going. So he comes to me and he says, Hey, my aunt Cindy is leaving at, three o'clock in the morning. Cody, your cousin, uh, is leaving at 5 a.m. And your mom and grandpa are leaving at 6 a.m. So everyone's going to be gone by the time that we wake up. 
So why don't we just leave tonight? And then we can make it to the party. <laughs> All right, fuck you. <clears throat> and then when I get when we get to the party, you ditch me. That's all I'm going to say. No. Yes. Me in the middle? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa, bring something up or if you think you're of such value. Are we allowed to talk about Marshmallow DJing for us without a helmet on? Maybe. There's only like 15 of us in the room and he was teaching us how to DJ with no helmet on. It was a pretty cool moment. Okay. Should we just leave it at that? Yeah, we can just leave it at that. Yeah, we don't want to. No. We don't want to be those guys. We don't want to be those. We don't want to be name droppers. No. Who, who was the guy again? It was like a s'more. It was like a one third of a s'more. <laughs> it wasn't chocolate. It wasn't graham cracker. No, it was, was, what was what's the third? Do you know what's the third part of a? Alyssa. A mellow? A marshmallow? That's who DJed in front of us. <laughs> DJed in front, front of us, us without a helmet on. <laughs> Interesting. We'll move on relatively quickly. Um, what else did I want to talk about? I got in trouble for saying a vegetable joke. <laughs> that. That was so funny. This is going to be offensive. Okay, so it's we... It's dark humor. It's, it's dark humor. So we were at VidCon, and we were going to kind of the business section where, you know, maybe you can spark up a brand deal with someone. And we're at a booth, and these sweet, wonderful ladies are trying to get to know us better um, by asking us random questions. And unfortunately, when you have a brain like mine, and I get a little bored, I, I go rogue, and I am unkind, and I derail the conversation Um to serve my own needs of fulfilling stimulation. I wouldn't say you're unkind. You just, oh, I am very kind. What would you say? You're very kind. You just uh, unhinged is what I would say. And uh, so the ladies, did we tell us of this? I don't think so. Okay, so so the ladies are going around asking us questions <laughs> like, oh, what's your favorite animal? And people are like, I like a cheetah. And then <laughs> I like pugs. I like a dog. And then uh, they, then they ask, what's your favorite vegetable? And people are going around. Jared's like a, a carrot. Somebody's like a celery. I'm like Stephen Hawking. And when I say I shut down the energy in the room, like it was so that the conversation was so bubbly. Like we were all cracking jokes. You know, we were passing. We were having fun with like the the animal questions and whatever. And she he, she doubles down on it. And she like the, the girl that asked the question. She goes, "I'm sorry. What'd you say?" And Zach goes, "What was the question?" She goes. What's your favorite vegetable? And then he goes, Stephen Hawking. Yeah, and, I was sure in my answer. And she just stares at him and then is completely silent. The other girl just like looks down and kind of like turns away. <laughs> and it is silent for, I think, 30 seconds before anyone says anything again. And we're all just like staring at each other. Oh, my God. I said, didn't like that one, huh? <laughs> um, yeah, I thought we were all joking. Why are they asking you animal and vegetable? That's questions? why I had to throw some out there. The Sounds conversation like was boring. You know what I mean? Third grade. <laughs> I yeah, I, I agree. I feel like if anything else, yeah, they were they were what demeaning <laughs> our banter. I don't think they were. I just think they just wanted to ask dumb questions. Dumb? Now you're oh. demeaning their banter. No, I mean, I just mean like this is a woman we're talking about. <sighs> Two actually, that you're putting down. No, How I, many years have women been oppressed, Alyssa? A long time. A long time. And just for that, we're switching conversations. How do you feel about that? We're about to be go on a roll. Well, now I feel bad. Like you made me feel feel bad. Say sorry. I'm sorry. To who? Those women. All women. For especially especially minorities. Especially minorities. Cover your bases. Yeah. You're dude. People are gonna clip that. You're going to be president one day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just in case the. Do you want votes for the other side? What What other side? Just say this, Drake. Go ahead and look in, down the barrel. Okay. I prefer to be in a room with only white people. Go. Uh, I'm not going to say that. But people are going to clip you and you're no, never going to be no. president. <laughs> well, I don't believe that. So. I was, yeah, mm. but it's going to be taken so out of context. <sighs> Sometimes you get got. <laughs> you, <laughs> that's not what I believe, though. I'm trying to get you to be the president, trying to do something real nice, and you're going to twist on me. No, that's not the way to do it. I can tell you that. If you're going to do this, why don't you bop it and pull it as well? <laughs> twist it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are the things that when you have them, it's the worst thing in the world? Right now, I'm a little congested, and I don't appreciate life when I'm not congested. What are some things that you underappreciate? Hiccups. 
I get really bad hiccups a lot. And Is it because you drink consistently? No, I don't drink consi- like consistently or considerably. Well, maybe considerably. We're talking about to the average person. To the average person? Yeah. I'm like on the lighter side of considerably because I do, when I go out, I binge drink, but I don't do it all that often. And I've really toned down. Okay, one of the worst. What about a little, little canker sore in your mouth? Oh. Inside mouth where you're trying to chew, your teeth scrape against it. Oh, my oh. God. Or when you're brushing your teeth. And then like oh, the, the a bristle, mint, the mint toothbrush or toothpaste or the bristles get in there. I realize I'm carrying this podcast. Um, Alyssa, what the what's f- she just eating now? What the fuck was that? What? That was rude. <laughs> what did I say? I realize. Oh, sorry, I'm Alyssa. You're allowed podcast. to eat on the podcast. Don't worry. The only reason I say that is because when people hear that, guess where they're going to comment? Huh? Jared, I love you more. You're the best. <laughs> oh, so this is yeah, it's all manipulation. Man. It's not manipulation. It's for your benefit. Well, it, that's still manipulation. It's I would say I'm um, platforming you in a way that demeans me. Is this gaslighting? <laughs> I think it's for the good. <laughs> Alyssa just, she nods her head. <laughs> um, what are some more things? I feel like everything has to do with like the face, you know, or, you know, okay, not going face, hangnails. Like when you, when you got one and you got to rip it, and it's going to be a little bloody. Oh yeah. And you, you take a little bit of skin with you and it goes like down under the nail. Or like a pimple that is really close to your mouth, Ooh. and then and then you're like, people are gonna think I'm I've got herpes, herpes, yeah. And like, no, this was acne, which is still gross. It's, acne yeah. mouth. Imagine it's, being called that. Call me that. You gross little acne mouth. God, that hurts. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. But you said it <laughs> only because you asked me to. Can you do Jira's eyebrows? Oh, I kind of, like I kind of do need them done. They're a little wild Shaving, up there. Yeah. All of the above. I'll thread do them. That's something to do, that. do, right? You don't know how to th- What is threading? That's some skill. You put that on your resume that you had that. I lie on my resume. Doesn't <laughs> everybody? <laughs> okay. So sounds like someone needs a performance review. <laughs> <laughs> what kind? Not a good one. Oh, I thought you meant. Okay. When you bite your cheek. That <laughs> happened to me the other day. Dude, that fucked Burn me your up. tongue. Oh. Or burn the roof of your mouth. Oh, my God. Honestly, uh, just burning anything, like your fingers and stuff, too. Yeah, but the tongue, it, it takes away another sensitivity of taste as well. It's like taste and touch. What are we doing here? The two T's? <laughs> the double T tangos? Speaking of tongues. Okay. This I guy's just, about to go on on a roll. No. Well, shit. Now you kind of set it up, and I, now I feel like what I say is going to be lackluster. I just learned that Grimace is a taste bud. What? Did anyone else know that? Like, Grimace. You know, because the the whole grimace shake thing or whatever, <laughs> the mascot is supposed to be a taste bud. I thought Ronald McDonald's was a mascot. He is a mascot. I didn't know grimace existed until a day ago. Really? Ago. What about the hamburglar? <laughs> I have no idea. What that you have no is. idea who the hamburglar is? No. You didn't have a childhood. That's sounds insane. like the Panther. Did you ever watch the TV show, the Ronald McDonald TV show? Uh-uh. Oh, I I never watched the TV show either. How much McDonald's did you have growing up as a as a kid? Looks like quite a bit. No. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, I wanted to keep it in the quiver, <laughs> but the arrow was knocked. Yeah, you probably should have. The arrow was knocked and people were coming fast. Huh? The cavalry she- was setting. Oh, she's going to be thinking about that later. <laughs> Thanks, and I eat a lot of... Okay, could no, have been- I just won't eat now. <laughs> <laughs> could Great, have been- Zach. This is the first time I've ever seen her eating <laughs> like all day. Oh, wait. Know? What is she eating? Actually, well, not all day. This is the first time I've ever seen her eat ever. Okay, that's more sustenance than just like. Well, don't you think it's natural an selection that a comment, like a small comment by someone, is going to make her, you know, murder myself? Yeah. <laughs> like at what at what point is it is it not my fault? It's just like <laughs> just tough it up, huh? Oh, great! Now there's going to be comments. Way to go, Zach. Alyssa's fat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really off myself. <laughs> not until I get off on you first. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Um, no, you got to cover your bases. Listen, you're not fat. I'd pork you if I could. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing, man? That was a laugh. Did you guys miss me? <laughs> That's crazy. Huh? <laughs> yes. Good job. No, you said it. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't miss us. You didn't even reach out. I did miss you. Oh. Actions speak louder than words. Ever heard the term? 
Yeah, I love the term. But you didn't. Well, because I didn't want to like interrupt you guys' fun time. You think a text would be like? I would just be like. But I did text. No, you guys. <laughs> damn it, God. <laughs> but I did text you guys. Only What'd you say? Only about work, though. Yeah, only about work. And so I feel like you need we, a work-life we really, balance. We weren't really friends in that moment, you know. We were coworkers. I feel like I'm being gaslit. And you should. Because you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we did. Did you hook up with any of your back home boys? I will not be discussing. <gasps> you got Ooh. your clits. Horace Lick. Oh. Gross. <laughs> what do you want to um, bake bean factory? Because your bean got processed or, so, or whatever. <laughs> that was a stretch, but I like the Alyssa's attempt. legs are stretched. And you excel at getting spread in those sheets. Oh, that was Pretty good. good. Oh gosh, I gotta recover. Um, <laughs> did you though have sex with anybody? No. The way you said that with your face. All right, we'll talk about it on uh, the Patreon. Oh, Will yeah. you tell us on the Patreon? Yeah. Oh, Ooh, spicy, spicy baby. Wait, did I see what episode this was? No. What's up, guys? Welcome back to episode one fifty nine of Dropouts. I think it's one fifty eight. Is it? I think so. I think Ray Romano was 157. I've never been wrong. So, yeah. sure, right. <laughs> first time. <laughs> is this what it feels like? Yeah. Oh, how does new it territory. It's like I'm on the moon. What's gravity like here? Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a little. It's a little heavier. Oh, Jared met a girl on. Oh, well, Jared's talking to a girl, but also cheating on her a little bit. No, I'm not. Just a little. No, you made up this whole oh, here like we go. fake story about like me meeting this girl on the beach. And everything was total BS in it. You okay? Thank God you only put it on your close friends. Yeah, you made up this whole BS story about how I was falling in love with this girl on the beach that just asked to play cornhole with us. Okay, we were playing cornhole on the beach. This woman walked up and said, "Can I play with you guys?" Jared said, "Go to that side." So I couldn't stand by Jared. He wanted to stand by um, Chloe. And you guys played cornhole, and you guys had banter. And she was basically wearing underwear. So. She was wearing a bikini, but you, like, we weren't having banter like that. Like, it was just, it was just like trash talking in the, <laughs> in the cornhole game. You smacked her. I did rump and said, "Good her game." Ass, stop. Why would you say that? There's no re- reason to cuss. Think of how many other words you could have for a buttocks. List them off. But one hiney, two tush, three. Gluteus Maximus. Scientific. Four. <laughs> I don't know. What else? Bum. Oh, bum's a good Five. One. Rump. Oh, you said rump. Rump. Booty. Um, booty. Booty. Dump truck. Dump truck. <laughs> um, <laughs> turd cutter. Cake. <laughs> turd cutter. I don't like the imagery that comes with that one. What'd you say? Cake. Oh, cake's a good one. I do like cake. Badonkadonk. How do you feel that we didn't have a birthday for you? Uh, like on the podcast? Birthday party. Do we oh. also not do that? I thought we wished you happy birthday. I thought we were no, like, you did. Birthday. You did wish. Like we, well, we had Jeremy and Lauren on. Do you still want to have a birthday party here? Um, we can have people over. I don't think like it who? needs. I don't think it needs to be like all of our friends. Um, I don't think like it, <laughs> this motherfucker <laughs> mind what is that? Not who you're talking to? It is, but I'd appreciate if you stop saying your name. Her nipples are pierced. They're not. How would you know? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Bait hooked and gutted. <laughs> um, no, we can still have like a little, we can have people over, but it doesn't have to be like Jared's birthday. Are we still going to get matching swimming shirts so we don't have to show off our bodies? I would very much appreciate but, that. Okay, but we've got to talk about, we've got to walk outside. What if we get them like done like, um, this is my swimming shirt or something on the front. Swimming. You want to call more attention to it? Actually, well, no, people are going to ask, why are you wearing a swimming shirt? Uh huh. What? Okay, hear me out. We got really bad sunburns. What if we're just like straight up and we're just like on the front of it? We, we say, I'm insecure about my body. Alyssa, which one would you like better? Why don't you just take your shirts off? Okay. Horny McHornerson okay. over there. Jeez. Jeez. If you're looking for a tip, just uh, ask for that 20%, baby. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> huh? Like the tip. No, I know. Oh, you do you know? Yeah, I just... We're, we're Ready? Three, two, one. Little do you, you know. know. What'd you think about that? <laughs> it's good. Thank you. Okay, but which which swim shirt should we go with? Like, I have a bad sunburn or I'm insecure about my body? Um, Probably the sunburn. Damn but it. 
I think you guys should just no shirt it. Alyssa. Yeah. We've talked about this before. You're not, you don't have any guys in your life. I don't have any women in my life. I'm thinking we try out a date. Can you describe her reactions to me? I don't even, I'm so nervous. I don't want to look at her. I know you're just like, Well, she's laughing. So. Okay. And in like a nervous, giddy way or in like a uh, no. not a chance way? I, I feel like, you know, it's kind of tiptoeing that line. Is but it because I said I wanted to hook up with your friend? That certainly didn't help. Okay. <laughs> um, that was kind of like a devious laugh. Like, yeah, you messed oh, up. Oh, like I want to be there too. No. Oh. Um, Let me throw this out there. Okay. Please. <laughs> Oh, that was that was a kind Ooh. of a good giddy is laugh. She, is she's laugh. Is she, she is she smiling right now? Can you see teeth? Uh, a little bit. She's trying to hide her smile. <laughs> That's okay. Um, now, oh, now face to palm <laughs> or palm to face. Can you tell her that? I'll tell her. Uh, we don't have to have sex on the first date. Good. I, I like, prefer. I don't. It. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's she thinking? What's she say? Now she looks kind of ticked. Ticked. Yeah. Oh no. Um, Good thing I got tweezers. Let's get that blood sucking parasite off of you, huh? Well, you always said you prefer to have deep conversation instead of that. So the fact that you said I'd prefer <laughs> that is That's so weird. such a big lie. No, that is true. <laughs> no, Come I on. know. Come on. What? So you would want to have a conversation with me? Yeah, I don't think right. I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a conversation with you. Let's, let's have one right now. You're what a do you terrible friend. <laughs> We're having a conversation, Jared. Stay I'm not first. having one right now. Why? This is the perfect time. It's uh, a talking medium. No, on the podcast. Yeah, go ahead. What do you want to talk about? Nothing. Is it that your friends make jokes about your insecurities? Let's talk about it. I don't Well, stand they're for not it. just insecurities. There's some pretty deep rooted <laughs> stuff going on in there. So. Well, Jared, we are definitely in the doghouse now. <laughs> I think you're in the sure, doghouse. You, you're no, the do, one. Do, 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 do. You got to edit this in, the, in a way where I look good. And she looks You're really not giving bad. me a lot to work There's with. Like, People are going to clip this. People are going to say, people are going to say I'm mean. Could you imagine? Then I'm no. going to be insecure. You're not mean. This is all jokes. Well, nope. Yeah, among I know friends. you don't. No, mean I mean it. it. But um, it's just, <laughs> Zach. I can't stand you. And I can stand you. So let's meet in the middle and, and do a wall squat. Okay. You're getting really poetic with these. It's a wall squat. Meet in the middle. Um, I don't like how you both just looked at me at the same time. Ooh, maybe that's what we should do on the uh, Patreon episode. Do wall squats? Well, we can move this uh, thing. We're, we're not moving the couch. Why? No. The couch is so easy to move. It's no. It's a bing bong boom. No. What? I don't. The, there's just a lot of extra If you're work. still listening to this podcast, Ben move me five bucks so I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> They're already paying for the Patreon. Uh, hopefully. Ten bucks then. Twenty? <laughs> What do you think of Silence my blonde nice. hair? Okay. <laughs> That's women, man. <laughs> I don't mean to generalize, but there could be a genocide happening in front of them. They, and they just got their hair done. You better bring that up first. <laughs> you know, the purge could be happening. No, People's heads no. being cut off. But, like, but I just got highlights. <laughs> Your no. hair does look nice. Thank you. <laughs> I told her this morning. Are I you going to start going back to the gym so the boys can see it? Yeah. Uh-oh. I knew kidding. it. Oh. I do have blonde in my picture, so, you know. Oh, then he'll know who you are. <laughs> Did any of the guys DM you back from the ones we stole your phone and DM them? There was multiple. Oh, then just oh. one. Yeah, just the one. Any new matches on Hinge? Oh, sorry. Her mom listens. Oh, yeah. Forgot. What can we talk about on here? <laughs> <laughs> I guess literally anything else but her love life. <laughs> okay. Have you had McDonald's recently? <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for listening and if you stay till the end to make sure i know it put three periods this podcast was sick nasty and then two periods so ellipses three periods yeah this po this podcast was sick nasty two periods two in periods. the comment section okay that way we know because if other people copy it they're not going to understand the period like yeah. But what if they just copy and paste and then we don't know whether or not. Why Sorry. would you look at the negative? Sorry. I was just trying to make sure this thing was foolproof. What should right. they DM you? If you want to hear us talk about Alyssa's hair, head over to the Patreon. <laughs> We're going to be talking about it for 20 minutes at length. Oh, New York show. Tickets down below. Get them now. They're selling out super, super, super fast. I can't even. So fast. <laughs> You can't even, we can't, we can't even, even believe how fast they're going. So, uh, see ya. Thank you.